by introducing ourselves. My name is Sarah. Um, I'm a but I'm a 20. I'm a young Who fan compared to most, I guess, except for a new series fan, I guess. Um, my favorite Doctor is number six. No, really. <laughs> and uh, although number eleven, Matt Smith's Doctor's, I got me really good enough there for me. He's just amazing. But I'll talk about that later. No, no, no yet. I, I have, I'm working in order. Oh well, I want to jump out of here. <laughs> what? I haven't caught up yet. I haven't finished Tenant. Oh, well, you're going to be spoiled, Ron. Yes. Then I'm going to jump out of here as soon as you say something new. I'll, I'll, I'll give you will a, remember by the time you watch it. I'll have a, I'll have a sure. River Song spoiler alert before I spoil anything from that season, okay? <laughs> okay. Anyway. Maybe you can stick it all to the end and then I'll just leave early. Introduce yourself. Uh, my name's Julie. I'm a Doctor Who fan. Only up through the seventh Doctor and the ninth Doctor. I have yet to see the tenth and eleventh, but I'm looking forward to it. And my favorite is definitely number four. Okay. Let's go around the room and hear everyone's favorite Doctor, because that seems to be. The number one question at Doctor Who panels. Anyone want to volunteer? Oh. David Tennant? Yeah. <laughs> number. Ten, you ten. Number ten. Why? Ten. And you gotta say why. Because he's so witty. Why don't you just go name him the number one? Also, because I haven't seen anybody else except for um, Eccleston for like number nine That's for a idea. Season. We're, going, we're going to name every doctor and see. Cheer for your favorite doctor. Don't cheer for you. Yeah. Or raise your hand. Raise your hand and cheer. Did you say cheer okay. for my favorite doctor? Yeah. Raise your hand and cheer. Okay, okay you asked for it. William Hartnell. Anyone? Favorite doctor? Oh, come on. Uh, yeah, second Pat doctor, Reeves. Patrick Troughton. Woo! Third doctor, John Pertwee. Yay! <laughs> Fourth doctor, Tom Baker. Woo! He's had a little fan <laughs> Fifth doctor, Pierre Davison. Yes. Sixth Doctor, Colin Baker. Yeah. Seventh Doctor, Sylvester McCoy. Ty. Eighth Doctor, Paul McCann. Oh, hey. I'm I'm so gonna, I want to see you too. Come on, mate. Step up. It wasn't good. Have you read? Have you Big Finish audios? Yep. Uh, Superior. Yeah. Yes. Just forget the movie, listen to those, and read the books. Mm -hmm. And the comic books are pretty good too. Anyway, sorry. So box. With, with, with the only right. having one actual televised production and then being the, the movie was terrible. Years. I mean, wasn't he actually yeah, the was... longest doctor if you take into account all the books and movies? Like, or take into account the books and the audio productions? He was actually he's the one got with the, the most, most of them. He's got the most material, but he's not the longest running. No, it's not. Because uh, technically, I, I thought to go was. from the beginning of someone's era to when they finally regenerated, that's the rest of McCoy. Which one is he? He was from 1987 to 1996. Uh, technically, if you're going with age, it would be the first one. Because he was an old man when he first regenerated. Mm, good one. <laughs> oh, oh, the nits are being picked tonight. <laughs> it's a doctor who pal. It's kind of, you know, we're used to nerds. Okay. Yo. Doctor number nine, Chris Eccleston. He brought it back. Nine was good. Wow. Yes. He was, I liked him. Come he was, on, he was not that bad. He, he was, was the doctor who brought back the show. show. Yeah. Okay, in my own defense, I've only seen Eccleston and Tennant. <laughs> yeah, that would be me too. Oh, okay. come on, you gotta see Eleventh. He's good too. Oh, yeah. I will when I get to it. Okay, Tennant. Woo! 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 <laughs> you have a doctor in here? Do you have a doctor in here? No. There's a damn ten doctor off in the round if you see him. Yeah, he's pretty cute. Yeah. He's he is adorable. He is good. But don't tell us that. that. <laughs> tell us. I saw him walking around. That would be, be kind of creepy coming for me because I'm kind of. Yeah. Oh, I can say because I'm his companion. <laughs> yeah, you don't want to know what happens to you. Um, I don't want to know either. Okay. Don't Matt, spoil us. Okay, Matt Smith, love doctor. Come on, let's feel some love. Slow for a new doctor. Well, he's not my favorite, but I do like him. What? Why are you knocking on bow ties? I'll do it to support the series. Come on, I don't want to see him I don't know him, but I'm going to give him the benefit of the doubt. Do you hear the new series? New season, Amy Pond, Rory. Amy Pond I like. Yes, I love Amy Pond. Who loves Amy Pond? 
I'm raising my hand for my friend who isn't here. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know, like he's hey, watching it and he says that, that she's a great companion. She is a yes, great companion. Is. I mean, she definitely keeps him on his toes. I mean, the second episode where the uh, England is on the, the uh, like the floating he's, fortress yes. kind of. She pretty much <laughs> saves the day. Runs the show. Yeah, she pretty much want the clever one with the smarter ideas than the doctor. I mean. Someone who outwits the doctor, what he normally does on a regular basis. You gotta love that. What about Rory? Any fans of Rory? <laughs> Yay! <laughs> what? It's nice to see one of the idiot like Mickey. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Mickey the idiot! Anybody who will wait like, that long to say something? Two, two, two thousand, that... I mean, that, if you didn't tear up a little when you heard that story about him dragging the Pandorica out of the fire, I mean, there, yeah. you, are, you have a stone heart. I don't want to talk to you. <laughs> that was cool. But uh, who's excited the fact that for the first ever time, you have a married couple in the TARDIS, and it's the two companions. It would be interesting. Although, knowing Moffat, something horrible probably happened to them, so... <laughs> My favorite two companion situation so far, although I don't know, it was Rose and Captain Jack. Oh, yeah, Rose and Jack. That was interesting. Yeah, it yes. was. But nothing happened between them because... <laughs> that we know of. Not for lack of trying. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know what? You know you're going to get spoiled as soon as you walked in here. <laughs> Captain Jack is cute. Oh, he's funny. So, um, he's hilarious. Like Who has a favorite Doctor Who companion from the recent series? You know me, I've already said it. Martha. Yeah! She's Martha smart. Jones! Rose is dumb. Oh! Let's, you know what? Let's get dirty. Rose versus Martha. It's all right now. Let's start it. <laughs> Well, Martha doesn't seem to have the doctor's odd aversion to firearms, so uh, yeah. she yeah. can kill Rose pretty fast. <laughs> so, um, Rose fans, anyone? Uh, she's fun. She's just not really yeah. yeah, she's Martha. fun. She's just not going to save the world that many times. No, I'm Rose? Just... She saved it a few, but Martha so... does it every day for a living. That's true. Now. Yeah, but she carries a gun now. And... Yeah. And I, I can't get over the fact that she's a doctor Not carrying even, around a gun. Although one con would be, she married Mickey. She did. <laughs> I'm not sure how I feel about that. <laughs> Mickey got a lot better in the alternate universe. He learned <laughs> some things. He, he got his act together. He, he did. Saved the world. He stopped being the tin dog. That's... <laughs> I like K9. They teased us. They brought K9 back for one episode, and then he uh, left. And then well, you know that was the end of the I thought he was on the Sarah Jane No, I don't think he is. Is he? Uh, I don't know. He's on Sarah Jane. Oh yes. I haven't watched him yet, so I'll know. I heard he was on the new K9 show. They have a new K9. I've seen pictures that looks terrible. I saw the first episode. Yeah. It's Isn't more like that kids. much better it's after that. It's more like a sporting car. Yeah. It's like a sci-fi channel. It's hard to be in a That's a good question. Who here knows K9? So we're about a dog. What do you count a companion? Oh, yeah. Yep. K9 is a companion. Yep, he is. K9 is a companion. Whether he was built by the doctor or not, he still saved the day multiple times. What? Is the for you guys, what's the personal criteria for someone to count as a companion, not just someone who happened to have an adventure with the doctor? I, they multiple the episodes. Doctor. Right mm -hmm. around, can you expand on that? Uh, with Rose and with Amy, they both had a lot of ingenuity with happening. With Donna, she became a moral conduit. Yeah. Uh, for K9, I guess he fetched. <laughs> they have. Uh, it was marketable. It was very marketable. And and the doctor, the the different doctors, they flip flop back and forth morally. You have to think about how many races the doctor has personally been responsible for having annihilated throughout yes. his life. Oh, like and he gave them. He says, "Everybody, I give them one chance." And if they don't take the chance, then they're toast. But some of them help him and say, yeah, go ahead and do it. It's some of them look at them and say, how can you?